Your Google My Business profile is a really big deal, especially if you're a local business, but even if you're not, people are looking at your photos, they're reading your information, they're clicking links to go to your website, they're trying to check out your menu, they're checking out your phone number. Even if you're a service-based business, they're looking at it a lot. So today, we're gonna to talk to you about ways that you can improve your Google Business profile so that when somebody sees it, they're actually gonna to wanna to call you. It's really important and these changes can make a really positive impact. Hi everybody, I'm John Lincoln with Ignite Visibility and let's talk for a few minutes about how you can have a better Google business profile in 2025. Okay, I've got about a 20 point checklist that we're going to go through, but I'm going to go through each item really, really quick just so you don't have to wait too long. If you have any questions about any of these items, just leave a comment below. I'll be happy to answer them. At the very end, in the last couple items, I've got a few innovative things that we've been doing for Google Business Profiles that are going to make you stand out, so wait for that. Number one, name, address, and phone number around the web. Does it match your Google Business Profile and vice versa? That's important. Number two, you need consistent, good reviews for your Google business profile. Number three, your hours of operation are really, really important because that's going to dictate the visibility of your Google business profile to other potential people searching. Also, there's something called local service ads for certain categories. You can run ads for your service-based business in the local results, and those hours of operation are really important for that. Number four, do you have frequently asked questions on your Google business profile inside of the text and also on the landing page that relates to that location? Also, let's spend a minute on that. You need a URL that's specific that has the city and also the main service, if possible, associated with your Google business profile if you're a multi-location business. I'm not gonna go into that too much in this video, but if you've got a lot of locations, that's important. Number five, you're gonna wanna have a map on your website that relates to the Google business profile. Item number six, you're gonna to wanna to have a link from your website to the Google Business Profile. Item number seven, in your Google Business Profile, you wanna have images that are local and that feel local, as well as a set of images that really make the business stand out and look great. Testimonials, reviews, special offers, shots of key moments. Number eight, image alt text optimization within the Google business profile. So putting inside of the description of the image what it actually is so Google knows what that image is. And then you also wanna have alt text on your images on your HTML page as well. Number nine, videos are critical. You can put videos on your Google business profile. Three to five great short form marketing videos that talk about how great the business is is a really good thing to do. And number 10, within the text and throughout the Google business profile, make sure you have calls to action. Now we're gonna talk a little bit about the text text in the Google business profile. And the first thing you want to have is proper headings and use a couple keywords in those headings if you can. Mentions of the country, the city, and the specific areas that are served. Coupons and discount codes if they're relevant. Local business schema on the landing page that relates to the Google business profile and has all the same information. Geotags and areas served on that HTML page inside of the schema. On the Google business profile, you wanna have services and products offered. There's a bunch of fields that you can fill out there that are really important. Make sure you list your awards nationally and locally within the text of the Google business profile and the HTML page. You also wanna have a really clean URL structure on the main website and, and link to that from the Google business profile, as well as a title tag on the HTML page that matches somewhat the Google business profile as well. Outside of that, Google business profile posts should be done on a daily basis, if not a weekly basis, if possible, to make it feel like it's alive. As far as innovation, you can do reporting with GeoGrids, and these are grids that are gonna show you how well you're ranking inside of the maps. And to rank well there, you always need to get those fresh reviews, be consistently updating the text and making it better, adding new videos, adding new photos, and really thinking about your Google business profile like it's its own website. If you need any help with your Google business profile, call Ignite Visibility, give me a like, give me a comment. I always appreciate it. And you can always send us an email at opportunity at ignitevisibility.com. See you next time. Goodbye.